Hey Simmerays, Beaver here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a collaboration video with Abs the Simmer. Uh, she approached me a few weeks ago and asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration where she would build um, the shell of a home and then I would do the floor plan and the furnishing. And I absolutely jumped on this opportunity because I think her channel is absolutely lovely and I just I always jump at the chance to do a collaboration. So uh, with that being said, her information will be in the description down below and I will link the video for her part of the collaboration. I pulled inspiration for the color scheme for this um, home from the outside. So in the very beginning of the video, I showed the outside of the house, which is what part that ad created. Um, and there was a brown garage door as well as some brown trim. So I kind of felt like I wanted that to continue inside of the home. So like basically everything that would be in a house when you purchase it, minus you know, your furniture and everything, um, kind of took inspiration from the exterior. So like the stairs are dark brown, the kitchen is um, you know brown with creams, and I just kind of wanted all of the existing fixtures to align with that brown aesthetic or that natural type of color scheme. Um, and I, I wanted this to be a little bit higher end of a home. Like it's not huge, but it's definitely not small. So I put marble flooring throughout the whole downstairs so I put that throughout the downstairs and then I wanted the furniture to kind of coincide with that brown color scheme again I'm starting to notice that I really do tend to go for like browns and like neutral tones um, <laughs> I don't even know why I really should try to get outside of my comfort zone um, but anyway I do add some other colors into the living room as we go along just like accent colors um, so I was gonna start with a brown rug but then I just felt like it was just getting like way too like monotone so I do end up putting in a pop of color with the green um, and I actually put clutter in this build and um, put up some paintings and stuff which I thought it's pretty cool because it's not something I do that often, um, but I am noticing with builds that I actually record the speed build for, I have been doing that more. Um, when I build like houses from my personal sims, like I tend to be really cheap and minimalistic because I'm trying to get the most for my money. <laughs> um, but I did put like plants and things, which again is not something I typically do, but. I'm trying to branch out from my normal like my normal habits um, and I think that my builds are starting to become like a lot better than what they used to be um, so there is this tight space behind the sofa and I wanted to fill it with something and I didn't want to move the sofa further away from the wall because I to be able to fit like an end table so I ended up using two of these tables from I think that's from seasons um, and then just put a bunch of clutter on here again like I was saying it's not something I usually do but I'm starting to get more in the habit of it to make the home look lived in um, as opposed to just what you need to like function and I put these treats here and I thought they were super cute so I did actually end up making a family to like live in this house um, and it was inspired by them and they do have they have a cat not a dog they have a cat um, and it is a three sim family and then an aunt so there's four sims but like originally there was you know the family of three and then the aunt fell on hard times so she moved in um, and I think I might do a cast video for them but I'm not sure but I like to create families to build for so when I do a collaboration with someone I usually go into cast and create a family I usually don't put too much time into it but just so I kind of have someone to think of as I'm you know putting the house together and so it's a very well educated family uh, I believe the father is like a politician and the mother is like a painter so I um, as we get further into the build, you'll see that like, like right now I'm putting in um, a chess table so that he can build his logic skill 
Um, he's either a politician or in the business career. I can't remember. Um, but I just put in all these things that would kind of help them, you know, develop their story. So I spent a lot of time trying to find chairs that I felt went with, or stools that went with this counter, and I believe I end up just leaving what I placed down. Um, and I just want to say the cabinets here say that they are CC, but when I went, before I shared this house on the gallery, I did turn my mods off and uploaded the home. So everything in this house is non-CC. Um, all, it's all Max's content, so you should have no problems downloading it as long as you have the packs. Um, and then I ended up changing the way that the windows were placed on the back of the house. I left the front of the house completely the way that Abs built it um, because she did go off of the picture and I didn't want to change her vision. However, it was making it was really difficult for me to do the floor plan, especially upstairs with the, where the windows were placed. So I did end up changing the back of the house because there were no pictures of that and I felt like I wasn't invading on, you know, what she had, her, her ability to recreate this house that she wanted to create. Um, but the way the windows were placed, especially upstairs, I wasn't able to put in an, another room. I just had like this huge open empty space that wasn't quite like, it was bigger than a hallway but smaller than like like a landing or like loft or whatever where you have big open space upstairs um, so I did end up changing that and again I'm putting clutter into the kitchen which is something I don't normally do I did spend a good amount of time trying to put together the dining room which is pretty funny because it's like <laughs> it's not even like a focal point it's tucked away in the back of the house um, but I do end up using the table and chairs from Seasons. I love that dining set. Like, I absolutely love it. <laughs> I use it more than I probably should. Um, and then I wanted to have a bar because, you know, they're a well to, like, they're an established family. So I envision, like, having dinner parties um, and ha having people come and visit. So they would need, like, a nice dining room, but they would also want to serve refreshments and just make sure that their guests are as comfortable as possible. Um, and here I am adding some pops of color, like I was saying, I tried to add like greens, oranges, and yellows into the build, um, because I felt like it complemented those like wood tones and those browns that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Um, and the stuff, the, pe the items, <laughs> the items from Jungle Adventure and Seasons really helped me be able to do that. Um, there are some really stunning, like, orange and yellow um, items in, the, in those packs. Uh, but here we are doing one of the four bedrooms. So there is one bedroom downstairs, and then there are three bedrooms upstairs. Or no, well, there's two bedrooms in a study, but the study could be turned into a third bedroom. So this is a four-bedroom house or three-bedroom if you want to have a study. And this is actually the room for the aunt who moved in, who is struggling. So she's a very um, vivacious sim. She <laughs> loves attention. Um, I believe she's either in the social media career or I think I was thinking about having her pursue either acting or um, oh, the, the video influencer. Um, so I wanted her room to reflect, like, the fact that she's really into fashion, she's into, um, like, makeup, she's in, into herself, actually, she's a little self-absorbed, <laughs> not gonna lie, um, but I, in my opinion, I love her room the most because I feel like it, it captured her personality more than all of the other rooms captured the other Sims personalities. Um, and I do use a lot of the Seasons content as well as the um, vintage glamour. And yeah, I just like the way it turned out. I think it's really lovely. And I ended up using the posters of like Marilyn Monroe and um, well now I'm not going to remember their names, but of the three um, iconic women 
Um, so that poster, I ended up using all three of them, I believe. Um, and it's kind of like her inspiration throughout her day. So like when she's not quite feeling like the most attractive woman or she might be struggling with something or she needs that extra push, she just looks up at her at her pictures and, and remembers these iconic women and what they mean to her and ha like what she needs to do to to live her best life to be like these iconic women. Um, so yeah, I really liked, as I said, I really liked the way that this room turned out and I ended up changing the color scheme a little bit towards the end and just kind of lit, um, lightened up the room because I felt like it was really dark for her personality and I wanted something a little bit lighter. Um, and I think it turned out really well. And I use a lot of stuff from Vintage Glamour, like all those mirrors and it's basically like vintage glamour and seasons in her room <laughs> and base game. Um, and I wanted to add some different lights because I just pictured her like wanting, like just having a very unique room. Um, and again, I'm trying to break out of my mold of using the same old um, ceiling lights all the time. Um, and here we are putting those pictures up on the wall for her to look at. And I think Audrey Hepburn is like her favorite because that's the biggest poster. I ended up cutting out the footage of the bathrooms uh, because I've said this in previous videos, but bathrooms are pretty self-explanatory in my opinion, so I didn't feel like you needed to see me build that because this video was super long. I actually ended up spending like three hours doing this, and when I was doing it, I like I would record and then I would stop and I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna take a break, and but then I would just start building again. It was it was interesting. Um, but here we are doing the garage. So this has a, a really nice laundry space. Um, since we don't, don't have cars in The Sims yet, I decided to just make it where I guess they would park their cars in the driveway or on the street and use the garage as actual extra storage. So on top of being the laundry space, it's also where the items for the cat are, as well as where the mother uh, does her painting. Um, and it's a really, it's a really flippin' large space. <laughs> this took me a while to do. I don't normally put uh, this much time and effort into a laundry location, but I think it actually turned out really nice and um, it's kind of, it's organized but it's cluttered at the same time, which I feel really suits the mother's personality. So the mom is a stay at home painter um, and I wanted her to have her own space. But here we are doing the office and I was trying to accommodate an idea that I had in my head before I started furnishing this collab. And you know, it's basically like having a desk with like, but like it's built into a shelf and it just wasn't looking quite right. So I do end up pushing them back and making them look more normal. Um, like how you would place a bookcase <laughs> and not have a huge gap behind it because it would fall down and hurt somebody. Um, but I did put in a nice computer and I think I end up using blues in this, in this room. Um, so this is mainly for the father uh, to use. And now we are working on the teen room. So I do apologize, I feel like my voiceover is super choppy because I am very disorganized when I build and I hop from room to room and I go back and back and forth and it's just craziness. Um, but they do have a teen daughter and she, I believe she's into programming and video gaming. Um, Cause I was doing this before Get Famous came out and I wanted to see what it would be like to become famous for, you know, the tech career. So I figured she'd be a perfect candidate for that. And I really haven't played, I played this family for a little bit and then I stopped. So I don't really know <laughs> how that turned out. Um, but anyway, she has a really nice room. Like she has, um, I believe she has her own computer. She has, um, you know, the gaming console, a decent TV for a bedroom, and then I do put in like the focus lamp so that way she can enable that that lamp so that way she can be focused when she's programming and get a better product. And I thought it was just like, oh yeah, she has a guitar game. <laughs> I thought it was very like clean and simplistic because she is a very organized sim, um, but it also shows a lot of personality, like with all the purples, which I feel like I've been using a lot of purple lately. 
uh, which is funny because it's not my favorite color. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have like a bunch of color in her room, but not like in your face. Like I wanted like, as you see, the walls are purple, but everything else is just little little flares of either white, black, or purple. So here we are doing the parents' room. And the shape was very interesting because of how I needed to fit the bathroom in, which is a shared bathroom upstairs. Um, so the aunt kind of got like <laughs> the best deal. She has her own like private bathroom um, and a really large room, honestly. But the mom, she's a painter, she's an artist. So I wanted her room to be colorful um, and a little whimsical. So. They don't actually end up getting a dresser because it just does not fit in this space. Um, but I do believe I end up putting in like a nice mirror. Yes, so a nice mirror and it's just very colorful and they get their own balcony, which I feel is a good trade off for not having your own you know, bathroom or the room's a little small. I kind of envisioned that downstairs had been added, like maybe it was the garage went all the way back and, and instead they you know, built that. The room downstairs for the aunt when it, when it became clear she was going to move in. Anyway, I used a lot of clutter in this room compared to what I typically do, um, and I was playing, trying to play with the placement of things. Um, I actually really like this room. I feel like it captures um, the mother's personality. Not definitely not the father. This is definitely like the mother's domain who just sleeps there. Um, but I just, because of the size, I don't feel like I was able to really be true to her personality, but I still really like the room. Um, and I love how bright it is. And then I believe we're going to go into doing the balcony at this point. So I wanted to put a little seating area out there, but also have some planting items. And this layout's going to change very soon because I realized that it just doesn't make sense. It's a little awkward with how it's placed. Um, and I think I put a bee box outside, which is another reason why I'm like, that doesn't make sense to be right when you walk out the door because <laughs> you might get stung by bees and like <laughs> you won't even be able to get to the sitting area. So I end up switching it around so that way you can do the gardening in your little nook there. Um, and then you have a place to sit and like look out into their front yard. We're about to go into the screenshot, so I just wanted to thank Abs the Simmer for asking me to do this collaboration with her. I had so much fun. Please be sure to check out her part of the collab and maybe a few other videos on her channel. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this a big fat thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!